Hi, my name is Patrick Duffy and I am an executive associate here at Dynamite Lifestyle. So for me, I had a really good upbringing, really good childhood, never wanted for anything. Um, but I never knew what I wanted to do with my life. I had no real sense of purpose, ended up having no goals, no dreams and aspirations. And I kind of just fell into construction because that's what my dad done. But I hated it from the age of maybe 12 to 15. I just started working out with him and I never liked it, but I didn't know what else to do with myself and I didn't really think I could go and achieve any massive results or anything like that. So it ended up with me going down a path of self-sabotage and kind of what I didn't, what I look back now, it was kind of escapism, but I don't like to label that either. But that's when I look back, that's what I was doing. I was going out every weekend and going to partying all the time and just that major feeling of being lost, you know. So I had gone down a really bad road at this point and I was suicidal and um, thought I wasn't good enough and I wasn't being good enough for my family and my partner and all the rest. And they didn't know the extent of how I was feeling. And I was kind of looking for a way out. And my other way out was obviously the, this kind of suicidal thoughts, but the way I wanted to come out of it was I went to try and develop myself. And I kind of found personal development and kind of started listening to the motivational stuff where everybody starts on YouTube and it would get you going for a couple of weeks, but there was no substance to it. There was no, you'd always fall back into your old way of thinking or kind of lose the run of yourself or get lost along the way. So that happened a couple of times and then out of the blue one day I was training in my room and I heard Bob Proctor speaking and I was like this man knows what he's talking about and uh, I just very shortly after I found him I found Kim and something just went inside me like the first video I've seen of her I just burst out crying I had no idea why and I thought I'd completely lost my mind at that point but um, I knew I had to follow that there was something inside me screaming at me to go and check this out this that's really resonating with you so yeah that's how I found Kim then and one thing led to another and here I am big one being a sense of purpose and um, finding something that I love to do and really personal responsibility was another massive one because I was playing the victim I was blaming circumstances blaming other people and um, blaming everything and anything for the way I was behaving and what I was doing and when I realized that I, I was in control of actually everything that happens in my life all I had to do was change the way I think and that was huge for me that, being able to take that personal responsibility and know that I can create my own circumstances, my own reality, my own results was huge. My self-image that I had before was not being good enough. Now it's how, how far can I go? How big can I stretch? And I'm just constantly stretching all the time to keep going bigger and better. And not for the want of being bigger and better. It's the, the fulfillment that you get out of being able to do that for other people. is just, that's the best part for me. Like it's, it's nice having all the nice things. But the, the sense of gratitude that I now have for my life and mainly for the people that I can help that maybe were where I was, you know, it's, you, can't, you can't beat that feeling. My personal goal, three million in a year for now, but that'll go bigger again, like, you know. Um, like, again, I like to base it on material things because that's a benchmark, but the stuff that I've already got, I mean, the better relationship with my partner, better relationships with my family, a sense of purpose and fulfillment. and the real feeling you get when you actually help someone who is in a bad spot or even even with someone that's doing well to make them go to that next level mm -hmm. that's like the voice notes that you receive the the gratitude that you receive in that way kind of the psychic income you receive through that is second to none like, you know. i really choked myself up at the start right worrying about this that and the other how's that going to happen how am i going to do this am i good enough letting go of all that stuff and knowing that you are enough and everything that you need is already within you all you need to do is look after the first cause, which is your thinking, and the rest will just, the results will come, the, the rest will just fall into place for you, you know. Just to, you know, life can be so easy, it can really come down to a decision of do it or don't do it, and we tend to kind of make everything really hard. I have to do X to get X, or I have to be this to do that. When you're already enough, you just need to do it or don't do it, and life can be so easy and get better and better every day, you know. So, like if I know the dark places I went to, and it's pretty rough and like I remember I used to have nightmares when I went to sleep but I used to love to go to sleep because it was better than the nightmare I created in my life and that was tough but like and I always like the only re the only thing that stopped me from ending my own life it wasn't me it was what it would do to my family and my partner because she has already experienced a loss in her life and I'm glad I couldn't bring myself to follow through with that but what I would say is that if I had of followed through then I would have damaged a lot of lives around me and not only that side of it but the amount of people that I've been able to help now just because I started to take personal responsibility for my own thoughts and know that I can create my own reality 
and know that my thinking is the cause of my results. And that's not easy to take on board when you start down the road because you're like, oh, I've ruined everything, you know. But I mean, for anybody out there that's feeling that way, then it only takes one moment or one thing to go right, then the whole thing spirals from there. And if you really just kind of know that you are enough inside, no matter what you've done or where you are or how dark it is or who you feel thinks what about you, none of that matters. What matters is that you accept that you're enough and all you have to do is start where you are with what you've got and just start working on yourself, you know.